you know, we can sit here and argue about it, and I get it. You're, you know, you're, you've got your base. I've got mine. But I've seen. The I don't have a base. I'm a journalist. I don't have a base. Democrat or Republican. What? Yeah, I have my doubts. Let's check the receipts. Yeah, it, there are some other things that Tim Scott has come out against, um, being uh, the the only Black American right now um, that is in the Senate as a Republican. He has made it more difficult and increasingly targeting diversity, equity, and inclusion policies. But in his tweet, he literally says. We're going to create this, make this toxic and, and use it as a catch-all for all things that we don't like. But this is an advanced placement course. So what if critical race theory is in it? Who cares? A lot of people worrying about things like Jim Crow. Could somebody decide that they want black folks to come in the back door because they don't want them in their store. I mean, how far might this go? There are people from different religions that believe that gay folks, sh you know, should not exist. She won't do a website for them if they are married because that goes against her First Amendment right. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't have a base. I'm a journalist. You know, I'm something of a journalist myself. Welcome back and thanks for joining me as this circus continues. Today, I'm going to show you an exchange between Republican rep Tim Burchett and totally not biased CNN host Sarah Snyder. It's but but to, I just want to be really clear, Congressman. That, yeah, 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 Congressman. What the f Congressman, look, nothing has been made pub public yet um, that shows us all of this. When and if it is, uh, we will get back to you. We'd love to talk to you um, if you have the evidence to, to show. But at this point, we, we haven't seen, the public hasn't seen any of this hard evidence uh, that has been brought well, I, up. I don't know what, you, of, you have $10 million dollars coming from Burisma, a company, you know, they're accusing uh, Biden, of, of, they accused Trump of doing what Biden actually did, $10 million of bribery. Um, to, and they fired a guy. I mean, you can follow the money, ma'am. And these are FBI informants. These are FBI. Right, but it has to be proven. There has to be up. some proof. You can't just say it happened. Right, there has to be some proof, well, right? <laughs> you serious? Then how do you explain four years worth of literal nonstop Russian collusion propaganda that turned out to be backed up by nothing? By the way, don't you claim to be a journalist? Isn't it journalist's job to investigate this sort of thing? Instead, she just doesn't want to talk about it unless she gets this nebulous, never enough evidence that just can't exist because her and her cohorts are going to drag their feet to the end and then even more. Tell me, well, what was... The, the the dossier on Trump, there wasn't really any proof. It was all hearsay. And now here you've got a, an FBI document, an official document showing that. So, you know, we can sit here and argue about it. And I get it. You're, you know, you're, you've got your base. I've got mine. But I've seen the I don't have a base. I'm a journalist. They're, I don't have a base Democrat or Republican. I understand, ma'am. You work for CNN. But let's be honest. If you work for Fox, it'd be the right wing. And you all are the left wing. And I get We're it. We're not. It's politics. I'm not. Stop it! You don't man, know my politics, the, yeah, sir. You nobody, really don't know my politics. Believes, so what if critical race theory is in it? Who cares? Nobody, really don't know my nobody politics. Nobody believes that, ma'am. You can say that and you can have your fingers crossed under But again, the there has to be proof, sir. There has to be proof both with my politics and with whether or not Joe Biden is involved in this. Thank you so much it, for it, coming on. I really appreciate you talking. What an asshole. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, no evidence, except for Hunter repeatedly traveled with Joe Biden during his vice presidency, mixing family and business with US foreign policy. An FBI confidential human source reported that Joe Biden assured Burisma that he could resolve their legal problems for $10 million. And this ultimately happened. Whistleblowers revealed that both the IRS and DOJ prohibited agents from pursuing leads implicating Joe Biden. There has to be proof, sir. While Biden claims to have never spoken to Hunter about his business, Biden attended over a dozen meetings with Hunter's business associates. Hunter's text messages, which we know are real, indicate he used his father's influence for personal gain. The FBI has publicly reported that they had at least partially corroborated a Ukrainian bribery scheme. We, we haven't seen, the public hasn't seen any of this hard evidence. We have numerous banks that have submitted over 12 reports on suspicious activities, suspecting the Bidens of engaging in money laundering. Overall, Joe Biden's story regarding all of this has evolved a lot over the last four years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all facts that I'll source with links in the description. This is all evidence. 
All of it adds up and is obviously a huge story. But unfortunately, our corrupt press is invested in this idea that they are defenders of democracy, which in their worth bubble means keeping Democrats and Joe Biden in power. All right, folks, that's about all the CNN I can stand for one session. But if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.